This is a power bait chigger crawl and, uh, you know, with a four out fusion hook, you know, um, something I always believe in is I smell every, every straight shank hook. Um, and the reason is, I mean, I can sh demonstrate it really quick. It's easy is when this thing goes through, through, you can see it from the side and a fish bites it and I hit it with a snell hook, watch the hook. See how it kicks up? See how that kicks up? What that does is anytime you've got a big weight, you're vertical. And I know you've seen this in other videos and stuff, but anytime in that fish and you set the hook and it kicks the hook sideways, that's important because, I mean, think about it. If I put a, a, a big weight in your mouth and your teeth were closed and I pulled that weight and it hits the back of your teeth, what are you gonna do? You're gonna open your mouth because they're trying to get rid of it at that point because you're setting the hook. So you want that hook kicking sideways to try to grab something on the way out. You want, you don't want it to just follow the hook straight out of the fish's mouth. So kicking sideways is important. Um, anytime you're vertical, you know, when you're pulled into a fish from a distance, you know, that's when you go with an offset or something like that. But anytime you're pretty vertical, um, you know, I like to smell the, smell the straight shank, but, uh, but yeah, so that's, it's a, uh, and then you just vary your weight based on what you're trying to get through. Um, you know, depending on how thick it is, this is one ounce. Um, I've had a few not go through. Um, here's a good tip for this. So this one ounce weight on a calm day probably goes through every hole. On a windy day, there's more drag on my line. Look at that. How about that? That didn't take long. Um, great example, guys. That's a hook to the face. <laughs> I mean, that did exactly what it was supposed to do. Um, hook kicked out to the side, drilled it. We got a little slop on our line. That's perfect. Old Fenwick hammered it. It's gonna be a good day. All right, guys. Hey, Brandon Coulter here with Major League Fishing, Bass Pro Tour Angler. We're here today with Bass University. And uh, the topic today is a question I get asked a lot, which is scent. You know, do you use scent on your baits? You know, do you add scent? Do you use baits with scent in it? You know, it's 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 a typical question, right? And and historically, I'll tell you, every angler I know uses scent in some form or fashion, right? So so let's talk a little bit about it. And there's there's historically there's two different kinds of scent that that we you know that we can put on a bait. You know, one is we can get a bait that's infused with scent, right? We all know what that is, right? Whether it's you know, Berkeley power bait or, or some of the others, you know, the bait comes with scent already in it. And that's important, right? And, and you know, every brand basically has that, that option available. You know, another way that we add scent to a bait is with, you know, additives, right? You know, we, we spray them, we dip them, we, we coat them, we do all these things. And, you know, I would call that like scent application. You know, so historically, they were the two ways that you can get scent into a bait. And we'll talk about kind of the differences of the two. But, you know, now there's a third way, right? Now, you know, Berkeley came out with Max Scent, which is actually almost like an applied, uh, you know, scent like you would do where it actually disperses into the water. But it's already injected into the bait. So you don't you don't have to apply it. So let's start with with the first two, right? So, so you have baits that are injected with with. Uh, you know, with a scent in it. So Berkeley power bait, for instance, you know, we all know, you know, I don't know that anybody that doesn't have a Berkeley power worm in their boat, right? So it is, it is a scent infused bait. That's, you know, power bait, you know, Berkeley spent a lot of time in the lab to try to figure out ways, what the best scent is to put into their bait. You know, you can argue that so-and-so's brand has better scent than Berkeley's or, or whoever, but, um, that's neither here nor there. You know, the, the idea is that it's injected in the bait. Now, what that does is that does not create disbursement in their water. What it does is it allows a fish to hold on longer. So for instance, you know, you can see behind us, we've got some grass and stuff and we're gonna be, we're gonna be punching and we're gonna be flipping some stuff today. And the first bait that comes to mind is a power bait. 